Okay, this is just a side note, side log, just keeping reference for. Uh, I had somebody today ask me to do a collab with them. And, you know, I wasn't mind. I'm a little skittish on doing collabs because I done had people at the last minute bail out on me or people say they going to do a collab with me. But it's really a collab for them. And once they hit the ground running, I'm dust. And I'm serious about this YouTube page because I'm trying to get to the thousand people to go on and see if YouTube is a viable website that maybe I could get some side funds. And even if they don't, uh, deny me the access to getting, uh, monetization, <clears throat> excuse me, getting monetization on it, I was still gonna do what I was gonna do like normal and go on to pursue something else. But I'm trying to get the thousand folks so I can see what I can do and actually go my, go live easier versus going through all of these different programs and stuff. <laughs> when I could just click one button and be done. Uh, this person come over here asking me to do a collab and stuff, and I was intending to respond back to them because I haven't been feeling good or well. So I was going to respond back to them, but then I had another person literally come commenting on every single one of my other videos to look at this comment and it's this person that was from TikTok from a long time ago that I had already dealt with and you know I asked them to subscribe to my page and you know it was a runaround so I didn't worry about it but they gone into a whole thing of doing the clips and everything. And I, I gave them my email address. But at the same time, I put out my reservations of why I don't really do collabs with folks. Unless I know they actually going to say what they going to do. And... You know, I do have a tendency of asking questions, you know, real deal questions of like, okay, I don't know how to do this collab. So what I, you know, what does this in detail? I'm like, um, I gave them my email address and said, I'm willing to give this a try because I just want to see how it's done. But then later on, uh, later on, they wanted to go into a full doggone, uh, talking about I don't want to collab with you anymore because I went into asking, now the reason on TikTok you didn't add me the first time, you said basically... Uh, something about your dad, this is some email address, some yada yada. But basically some email address that YouTube was to your dad's and something else and uh, uh, you couldn't add me or some stuff. And apparently they didn't think I remembered that. Then they gonna say that they parents... Uh, uh, they parents, uh, uh, they mom is fine with anything they post. And, and, uh, the thing is, I have questionable stuff on my page. So, I don't want to put myself into a situation like we got right now with, uh, Yagami Yato. And then, here he come late on, talking about, I don't want to collab with you if you don't support both of us. And I'm like, I just gave you my email. 
is a sign of trust, even though I wouldn't really don't know what to do on a collab. Then they going to go guilt trip me, talking about at least I didn't actually, we were going to do it. And I told them, I'm putting my email address out there and everything at the bottom. And, you you know, then now you're going to guilt trip me into. And then talking about I did not want to do any stuff to make you look like a bad guy. Well, you just now making me look like a bad guy. Just because I had some serious questions from something a long time ago on TikTok that you said to me that you thought I didn't forget. And then I put don't I was gonna support you back, but I like put my email address as a sign of trust. Don't guilt trip me into you know making me look like the bad guy. But then he wanted to put it as I wanted to be, uh, just wanted a YouTube friend to play. I could collaborate, but both of us to get so by collaborating together. Then, you know, I said a previous reason why. Then he talking about subscribe. But when I asked him on TikTok, you said no. But that's fine. Good luck to you. But then now you're going to say, oh, just delete all these comments. We said so no one else can read it. Okay, bye. That's exactly what I'm talking about. There you go. Guilt tripping me into making me look like the bad guy when I honestly don't know a damn thing about collaborating on the gaming thing. And I gave you my email address. Because I wanted to try it. But then you going to turn it into a guilt trip. This is what we not finna do. This is what we not finna do. So I'm just recording all of this. Just as a secondary evidence. To what happened, <laughs> and then uh, also I forgot the comments. Uh, to uh, Phoenix Reborn. There you go. That is one of the reasons why I have problems with that. Because people guilt trip me into being the bad guy when I actually don't know. So, I'm done with it.